Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, we are going to talk about 20 unknown technology facts that will surprise you. Technology has changed the way we live, work and communicate, but there are many things that most of us don't know about it. So, let's dive in and explore these fascinating facts. Fact number one. The first computer mouse, which was invented by Douglas Engelbart in 1964, was made of wood. That's right, this primitive prototype looked nothing like the sleek and ergonomic mice we use today. It was a rectangular block of wood with a single button on top and a cord attached to the back. The first mouse was designed to work with a special computer system called the Online System (NLS), which Engelbart and his team were developing at the Stanford Research Institute. This early mouse used two metal wheels on the bottom to track movement and its primary purpose was to help users navigate through text on a screen. Today, the computer mouse has come a long way, with wireless options, touchpads, and even gaming-specific mice with advanced features. But it all started with a block of wood and a vision for a more intuitive way to interact with computers. Fact number two. Mobile phones have come a long way since their inception, and it's hard to imagine a time when they weren't a part of our daily lives. However, in the 1980s, the first mobile phones were massive and incredibly expensive. They weighed around 2.5 pounds and were commonly referred to as brick phones due to their size and shape. The first mobile phones were also very expensive, costing around $3,500 each, which was equivalent to around $9,000 in today's money. They were primarily used by businessmen and other professionals who needed to stay in touch while on the go. Over time, mobile phones became smaller and more affordable, and they soon became a ubiquitous part of modern life. Today, we rely on our phones for everything from staying in touch with friends and family to managing our schedules and accessing the internet on the go. It's amazing to think how far we've come since those early days of mobile technology. Fact number three. Did you know that in 1986, Nintendo released a fitness game called the Power Pad that required players to run and jump on a giant mat in order to play? This innovative gaming accessory was ahead of its time, but unfortunately, it didn't catch on with gamers. The Power Pad was a flat, rectangular mat that measured 12 inches by 24 inches and had 12 pressure-sensitive pads. It was designed to be used with a variety of games, but most of them were fitness-oriented, including a game that simulated running, one that simulated stepping, and another that simulated jumping. Players would stand on the mat and move their feet and legs in order to control the action on the screen. The power pad was intended to be a fun and interactive way to get kids moving and exercising, but it didn't sell as well as Nintendo had hoped. Despite its lack of commercial success, the power pad paved the way for future fitness-based gaming accessories, including the Wii Fit Balance Board and the Xbox Kinect. Today, many video games incorporate exercise and physical activity into gameplay, and the power pad can be seen as a forerunner to this trend. Fact number 4. Did you know that the first webcam was created to monitor a coffee pot? In 1991, researchers at Cambridge University in the UK were tired of going to the break room only to find an empty coffee pot. So, they decided to set up a camera pointed at the pot and hooked it up to the internet. This allowed them to check the status of the coffee pot from their computers before making the trip down to the break room. It was a simple idea, but it paved the way for video streaming and remote monitoring technologies we use today. Fact number 5. Did you know that the first digital camera was invented in 1975 by an engineer at Kodak named Steven Sasson? This early prototype weighed a whopping 8 pounds and was far from user-friendly. It took 23 seconds to capture a single black and white image with a resolution of just 0.01 megapixels. Despite its limitations, this early digital camera paved the way for the high-quality, lightning-fast cameras we use today. Fact number 6. Did you know that in the 1990s, Apple tried to venture into the fashion industry with a line of clothing called Apple Wear? This unique line featured jackets, hats, and other apparel that had built-in computer interfaces, allowing users to control their devices right from their clothing. Unfortunately, despite its novelty, the line never really took off and was eventually discontinued. While we may not be wearing our technology just yet, it's interesting to see how tech companies have been exploring new ways to integrate technology into our everyday lives. Fact number 7. 
Did you know that the first paper map was created by the ancient Greeks over 2000 years ago? Before the advent of GPS, drivers used to rely on paper maps to navigate. However, the ancient Greeks used maps primarily for navigation at sea. The earliest known Greek maps are from the 6th century BCE and were made of clay tablets. The Greeks were also the first to use latitude and longitude to map the Earth's surface. Later on, cartography became a major industry in Europe during the 16th and 17th centuries with famous mapmakers like Gerardus Mercator and Abraham Ortelius. Today, paper maps have largely been replaced by GPS and digital maps, but they still hold an important place in history and in the hearts of map enthusiasts. Fact number 8. Did you know that the original floppy disk was a whopping 8 inches in size? The first floppy disk was invented in the late 1960s and was used to store data on early computer systems. It wasn't until the 1970s that the 5.25 inch floppy disk was introduced, followed by the 3.5 inch floppy disk in the 1980s. Despite their small storage capacity by today's standards, floppy disks revolutionized the way we store and transfer data, paving the way for modern technologies like USB drives and cloud storage. Fact number 9 Did you know that in 1996, Apple created a concept for a phone that had no buttons or keys? Instead, it was controlled entirely by a touchscreen. This prototype was called the Apple Knowledge Navigator and was an early glimpse into what would eventually become the iPhone. The device featured a virtual assistant that could help users find information, send messages, and even make reservations. It may have seemed like science fiction at the time, but just a few years later, the first iPhone would be released, changing the world of technology forever. Fact number 10. Did you know that before the rise of MP3 players and streaming services, people used to listen to music on portable cassette players called Walkmans? Invented by Sony in 1979, the first Walkman revolutionized the way people listened to music on the go. It was a small, portable device that allowed people to listen to their favorite cassette tapes anywhere they went. The Walkman quickly became a cultural phenomenon, and people could often be seen walking down the street or riding the bus with headphones on and a Walkman in their pocket. It was so popular that the term Walkman became synonymous with portable cassette players in general, and other companies rushed to create their own versions. Of course, with the rise of digital music and MP3 players, the Walkman eventually became obsolete. But for a time, it was a true game changer in the world of portable music. Fact number 11. Did you know that in 1998, NASA made history by sending a laptop into space with the Space Shuttle Discovery? This was the first time a laptop computer had ever left Earth. The laptop was part of a new system called the Space Support Toolset, which allowed astronauts to manage tasks and communicate with mission control in real time. The laptop was specially designed to withstand the extreme temperatures, radiation, and other hazards of space travel. Today, laptops and other computing devices are essential tools for space exploration, from controlling robotic probes to analyzing data from distant planets. Fact number 12. Did you know that the first computer virus was created in 1986 by a programmer named Fred Cohen? He created it as an experiment to see if it was possible to create a self-replicating program. The virus, which was called Brain, was designed to infect floppy disks and spread to other computers when the infected disks were shared. While the brain virus was not malicious and was only created as an experiment, it paved the way for more dangerous viruses to come. Today, computer viruses are a major threat to computer security, with cybercriminals using them to steal sensitive information, disrupt computer systems, and cause other kinds of havoc. To protect your computer from viruses, it's important to install antivirus software and keep it up to date, as well as being cautious when downloading or opening email attachments from unknown sources. Fact number 13. Incredible as it may seem, the first fax machine was actually invented in the late 19th century. It was called the Telefax and was invented by a Scottish clockmaker named Alexander Bain in 1843. The Telefax used a rotating drum to scan and transmit images over telegraph wires. It was a slow and cumbersome process, taking up to six minutes to transmit a single image, but it was a groundbreaking technology that paved the way for modern fax machines. In the decades that followed, various improvements were made to the Telefax, including the use of photographic paper instead of metal foil and the development of more efficient scanning and transmission methods. By the mid-20th century, fax machines had become commonplace in businesses and other organizations around the world. Today, of course, fax machines are considered somewhat outdated technology, with many people relying on email and other digital means of transmitting documents. Nevertheless, 
The humble fax machine remains an important part of technological history, paving the way for many of the digital innovations we take for granted today. Fact number 14. The iPod, released by Apple in 2001, changed the game for portable music players. With its sleek design and innovative features, it quickly became a must-have item for music lovers. But what many people don't know is that the name iPod wasn't the original plan. According to reports, the name iPod was actually a code name that stood for Internet Portable Open Database. The name was created as a placeholder while Apple was developing the device, and the company initially had no intention of using it as the product's official name. However, as development progressed, the name iPod stuck, and it eventually became the official name of the device. Today, the name iPod is synonymous with portable music players, and the device has had a profound impact on the music industry and the way we consume and interact with music. Fact number 15. Did you know that the first 1GB hard drive was announced in 1980? It was the size of a refrigerator and cost a whopping $40,000. At the time, it was an incredible feat of engineering, but it's amazing to think how far we've come in just a few decades. Nowadays, we have portable hard drives that can store up to 5 terabytes of data. That's over 5,000 times more storage capacity than the original 1GB hard drive. It's thanks to advancements in technology and engineering that we're able to carry around so much data in such a small package. But it's not just the size and cost of hard drives that have changed over the years. Hard drives today are also much faster and more reliable than they were back in 1980. This has allowed us to create complex programs and store massive amounts of data without worrying about crashes or slow performance. Who knows what the future holds for hard drives? Maybe we'll see even smaller, more powerful drives with even greater storage capacity in the years to come. Fact number 16. Back in 1992, the first text message was sent by a 22-year-old software programmer named Neil Popworth. The message, which was sent from a computer to a mobile phone, read Merry Christmas. This marked the beginning of a communication revolution that would change the way we communicate forever. Nowadays, texting has become a ubiquitous part of daily life and has even surpassed phone calls in popularity. Fact number 17. In 1958, physicist William Higginbotham created the first video game ever, called Tennis for Two. It was a simple tennis game that was played on an oscilloscope, an electronic display device. The game used two knobs to control the movement of the tennis ball, and it was a hit at a public exhibition at Brookhaven National Laboratory. This marked the beginning of the video game industry, which has since become a multi-billion dollar industry with millions of players worldwide. Fact number 18. The world's first website was indeed created by Tim Berners-Lee in 1991 and is still available online today. The website was hosted on a Next computer at CERN, and it was a basic HTML page with information about the World Wide Web project, providing instructions on how to use hypertext to access information on different servers. The website's URL was http colon slash slash info dot cern dot ch slash hypertext slash www slash the project dot html, and it is considered a historic artifact that played a key role in shaping the internet as we know it today. Fact number 19. Did you know that the first smartphone was actually released in 1993? The IBM Simon as it was called, was ahead of its time and included features that we now take for granted in our smartphones. It had a touch screen, which was a revolutionary technology at the time, and could even send and receive emails. But that's not all, the IBM Simon could also send and receive faxes. Can you imagine using a smartphone to send a fax today? It just goes to show how far we've come in terms of mobile technology. Fact number 20. The world of photography changed forever in 1861 when James Clerk Maxwell took the first color photograph. Maxwell's revolutionary process involved taking three separate black and white photographs of the same subject, each through a different colored filter, red, green, and blue. These three images were then projected through the same filters, producing a full color image. This process was groundbreaking and paved the way for modern color photography. 
Today, we take for granted the ability to capture vivid colors in our photos, but it all started with Maxwell's innovative approach to photography over 150 years ago. These interesting facts showcase how far technology has come in a relatively short amount of time. From the first mobile phones and digital cameras to the invention of the internet and the rise of streaming services, technology has drastically changed the way we live our lives. It's fascinating to see how these advancements have evolved over time and how they continue to shape our world today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for plenty stuff.